Many gathered for the opening ceremony to celebrate Hopkinton's 300th anniversary. There were many speakers during the evening, including Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito, who praised Hopkinton for many different things, including the school system and the Boston Marathon. It's really remarkable, right? 300 years. And when you think about those that settled in the land here those many years ago, uh, you wonder what they expected to, to have here in the future. And certainly uh, you can't possibly envision that many years and think about what has come to be here in this great community. But certainly you have many things to be proud of, just simple things that take a whole lot of thought and concentration are making sure that your schools are great. You have made the mark and we are very proud as officials here to celebrate the great learning that you provide to all of the students that come through the halls of these schools and may you continue that tradition to give every student the best opportunity they have to succeed in life. When you think of the Boston Marathon and what a tradition that has become here in our Commonwealth, despite the tragic day that occurred, we are united, we are strong, Boston strong, Hopkinton strong, Commonwealth strong, and forever strong and resilient in the face of adversity that that day br did bring to all of us. But for you to be able to go forward as the beginning of that great marathon with so many families and individuals assemble to achieve a milestone in their own personal life and for a cause that they might be running for is really special. And that is a tradition that you only hold and embrace. So I expect the next 300 years will bring many more marathons to Hopkinton. Board of Selectmen Chair Todd Sestari talked a bit about Hopkinton's past. Our past includes governors and congressmen, entrepreneurs and industrialists, athletes and war heroes. Some may be surprised to find out that Edward Hopkins, the man for which our town was named, was never actually living here. In fact, the land that later became Hopkinton was purchased using money he left for Harvard upon his death. In honor of his gift, the trustees later named the town after him, and our beloved parcel became known as Hopkinton. The economy of Hopkinton has been spurred in waves through the years via agriculture, industrialism, tourism, and industry. At one point, People came from around the world for the mineral springs and hotel to experience the healing powers of our natural mineral springs. Highlights of our industrial past include being the world's leading boot and shoe manufacturer in the middle of the 19th century. At the time, Hopkinton was home to 11 factories producing boots and shoes using technologies developed right here in Hopkinton. Hopkinton was also home to the nation's second cotton mill. Senator Karen Spilka praised Hopkinton for their progress in technology and for the environmental friendliness of the town. In 1915, Francis Safford wrote a brief history of Hopkinton for the town's bicentennial ce celebration. She ended with saying, Great changes have taken place in the last century, but even greater ones will be recorded by the pen that writes the history of Hopkinton's 300th anniversary. So here we are a century later at our town's 300th celebration and there definitely have been a lot of changes. Hopkinton has a long history of economic innovation. You heard some of that history of a long time ago with the factories and all that Hopkinton did uh, the early days as a center of shoe manufacturing to our town's current state as what I think we would all recognize as a world-class technology hub. It's really been phenomenal growth here. We are a green community prioritizing energy efficiency and sustainability to support economic growth and pr promote a healthier town and a healthier environment.